So if you are into protective styles or you've been researching protective styles, I'm pretty sure you've ran across crochet braids, which is what I'm wearing right now. Um, if you are not familiar with them, they are pretty much just cornrows, either back, uh, straight back in a basket circular braid pattern. There's a lot of different braid patterns you can use depending on what style that you're gonna go for. Uh, you can use all different types of hair. They have um, curly hair, they have pre-braided hair, they have wavy hair, just about any kind of texture that you're looking for. Natural textures like an afro, curly, kinky texture, they have those too. Um, just depending on what your preference is. So for mine, I went with twist. Uh, these were all pre-twisted. This hair is Free Tress, uh, Free Tresses or whatever. Um, that's the brand that I chose to go with. These uh, are straight backs and this is what they pretty much, what they look like. If you're unfamiliar with the process, they're put in with something like this. Uh, I haven't seen one that looks any different, even color, which is really weird. But yeah, so it's pretty much just a uh, crochet hook with the latch, pull it through. Um, I love crochet braids. They're not for everybody, but that's why I made this video so you can kind of outweigh the pros and cons and see if they would be right for you. So I'm gonna start with the pros of having crochet braids. The number one pro is that they are easy to install. They take no time at all. I've done them in the past for myself, but because I am expecting, I decided to let somebody else do them. But even though I didn't do it myself, they took literally an hour and a half to install. That includes corn rolling all of my hair and installing the crochets. So easy peasy, simple, smooth. and. Another pro would be that they are easy to take down. I know a lot of my braided styles can be frustrating when it comes to taking them down. Like goddess locks, forget about it. Like those are probably the most intense uh, <laughs> as far as taking them down. But with these, it's so easy. You literally just pop out the braid that's pre-braided and crocheted in and then you take out the cornrows and that's it takes no time at all I've done it in an hour um, maybe even less than that before and then another pro is that they're inexpensive if you're just gonna do them yourself the hair can be somewhere around 50 bucks for the whole head maybe even less there's a lot of online vendors that you can get hair from and it comes in bundles like you could get four or five packs for $30 or something like that and even if you're paying somebody to do them for you, they're not going to charge you probably more than 50, 60 at the most, and 60 is more on the high end, but they cost really not much at all to get someone to do them for you if you just don't feel like doing them yourself, which you can. Another alternative is if you're not so great with the braiding like me, you can have somebody braid them. They probably charge you not that much to do it in the braiding pattern that you desire then you just pop them in with the crochet hook it's so simple and i'm telling you like it's probably the easiest style that i've ever done and when i did them before i used um i used i can't think of the hair that i had but i had them in a curly style if i can find a picture i'm gonna put it in the video but i had a, a curly style i've never gotten so many compliments on my hair like it was amazing and for them to be so inexpensive it's like you cannot beat that at all so now i'm gonna get into the cons of crochet braids first i don't really like that you don't have a lot of styling options like you do with individuals for example, if I wanted to wear them down like with the center part, they just kind of look, they look kind of weird. I don't know if you remember the latch hook braids from the 90s, which these are exactly, uh, but I just don't really like that look. Like I just want them to look a little bit more natural. And for some people it's fine, but I just don't like that you can tell that they are crochets and not individuals. Um, pulling them back is cool. Um, 
you can't it, I just don't like that there's always these big ass parts like which I make work and I'm still fine with and it's not enough to deter me from wearing this style so it is what it is the next con is that they do not last that long I would say a good month and when you consider when you or when you factor in everything that goes into it the cost of them the time that it takes to put them in you can literally do them every month and keep a fresh style you could change up the hair that you choose you can do whatever you want to keep it fresh because it doesn't cost that much like that's literally like you know fifteen dollars a week if that you know or if you're letting someone else install them it's literally like $25 a week and for every month you can switch it out and have a new style so that's not really that bad um I don't like that they're heavy they're really heavy if with this style um I had like I mentioned before the curl style and that was cool it wasn't so heavy it was really light actually but this one is it's just heavy like it hurts my neck <laughs> which is annoying um, another con is that the front starts to kind of come out like last time I had these with the uh, the twist a few of them or a couple of them kind of came out in the front because my hair is a little bit short um, up here in the front like I know a lot of other girls can relate to and they kind of started to lift and once they started lifting uh, because they're cornrows they don't last as long like I was saying so it's not like you have individuals and you could go get them touched up or whatever when you need to get them touched up you got to take the whole thing down so with that happening there was nothing I could do so that was kind of annoying um, for me the pros outweigh the cons by far because there's so many advantages to having the style in as far as the cost the maintenance uh, just not having to worry about my hair and not having to dread taking them down, which usually is a big ordeal. I need to have help. I need to, you know, take a whole night and put it aside just to take my hair out with these. I can have them in, um, in an hour and I can have them out in an hour or so. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this style to anybody that's considering a protective style for not only those reasons that I listed, but because when you're wearing protective styles and you're really trying to get your hair to grow, it's important that you don't have anything that's putting too much tension on individual strands of your hair. Now with this being cornrowed down, the pressure or the tension is not just on these few baby hairs in the front, it's on this whole row. And this whole row is enough to uh, hold it down I don't know what I don't know what to say or how to call it but um, it's it's better for your hair so you don't have to worry about so much tension on individual strands but I would recommend this style to anybody I would say play with it there's so many different styles they have now ones where you it's kind of like invisible where you could have it braided and kind of like a weave but not sewn in just crocheted in instead and you could like cover it with your natural hair um there's so many things you could do play with it have fun enjoy this style let your hair grow don't forget to take care of your hair underneath keep it trimmed keep it oiled keep your regimen you know good don't leave them in for too long uh, even though they might last for you know two months that's a little bit too long to keep them in so think about maybe i mean especially if you're using uh some of the loose styles like the you're using the cankle on here or the water wave the free tress whatever it is like they will be harder to take out if you wait for a long time because they'll become matted in your own hair so keep that in mind when you're getting the style but all in all have fun do you boo mm -hmm.